a very good day my dear undergraduate students the exam going students this is a totally different class in which i will not be teaching you much but i shall make you people go to the book and identify the answer this is called the open book and a rapid revision for the examination i shall stick to the general pathology and let us see how well it goes this is the next chapter i am going to the next chapter in the open book rapid review for general pathology and the topic here is inflammation generally we are very perplexed or somewhat shocked when we see it because it is very abstract however many times i read i forget it but let us see there are a few things that we will have to remember general features of inflammation scala dolor tumor etc just read but the question will be what are all the vascular changes in inflammation and what are all the chemical mediators extremely important and is there any special type so these are some important ones let us see so inflammation as such what is the definition of inflammation definitions are definitions please students no own words please it is the response of a vascularized living tissue to an injury so such words are important don't change them. and what are the signs again kala dolor uber tumor etc will be there there will be pain and sometimes there can be punctures it can be acute it can be chronic depending on that is it clear so these are the things lewis is triple response can sometimes be asked as a question see whether you are able to find the answer flush flare and wheel whether they are given what is it actually due to chronic inflammation is when it is there for a long time generally we ask the students the inflammatory cells lymphocytes plasma cells macrophages are chronic inflammatory cells neutrophils are acute inflammatory cells so in chronic inflammation you find these will be increased granuloma is also a special type of chronic inflammation it usually occurs when there is going to be a low grade inflammation the organism is not very aggressive and it persists for a long time rheumatoid arthritis acute acute appendicitis is there any other special type so there can be some books will be giving you types of pericarditis etc so just see the types what is a serous exudate what is a fibrinous exudate and what is a hemorrhagic exudate etc these types alone we will mention ulcer also is a form of lesion that can lead to an inflammation so this is the general story of inflammation the references are given below this is more important the vascular changes in inflammation when i talk about the vascular changes in inflammation first thing will be the types of endothelium so see the blood vessels under that find out whether the types of endothelium is given there can be three types no continuous fenestrated and sometimes you find that there is a inter endothelial gap that is present see whether it is given or not and regarding the vascular changes it is almost similar to your triple response see what is given what is the immediate response then a delayed response then a delayed sustained response three things will be given by your books those three things you will have to mention and describe so vascular changes don't get confused don't write this and that this will be the vascular changes in inflammation the types of blood vessels the types of endothelium and then the three changes you can give an example of the lewis's triple response granuloma 
usually it occurs in tuberculosis, all of us know. That is not what I want. Now, what are all the other causes for granuloma? See whether your book gives you. Province particularly gives a tabular column. Maybe your book also gives a tabular column. What can be the various causes for granuloma? And I would have also mentioned it in my book. So, for example, tuberculoid leprosy, actinomycosis, exams right for you, granuloma, syphilis, university question, granuloma, foreign body, it is a slide for you, granuloma. Lot of these things will be given. Just mention the types of granuloma. And when I mention granuloma, there will be giant cells also. Please go to my class on rats. So I would have mentioned the different types of granuloma and the giant cells. I would like you people to go through. So it is a question for you people. Students usually make a mistake between granulation tissue and granuloma. They mix up both. So the correct answer is needed. Giant cells also, I would have given a classification in my class in rats. Kindly go through that. So physiological giant cells, pathological giant cells, and what are all the conditions? Because that itself can come as an MCQ. Reed Sternberg type of giant cell occurs in A, B, C, D. Ash of giant cell. A, B, C, D. The type of giant cell seen in tuberculosis is what? So multiple questions can be asked. Kindly go through this particular column. Even in the viva, if they ask, you should be able to answer comfortably. So inflammation means acute inflammation, chronic inflammation, vascular changes, granuloma, giant cells. The mediators of inflammation. Normally you find, go to your book, there are a lot of changes that can be there. And instead of mugging up everything, there are two things which we can follow. One is a flow diagram. Two is a tabular flow. See whether you are able to locate it. Chemical mediators of inflammation, tabular form, in which you will be given histamine, what is the source, what is the action. Bradykinin, what is the source, what is the action. Serotonin, source, action. So this particular tabular column we will buy from. The mediators of inflammation. Complement system. There is a flow diagram again that is given. I would like you people to memorize the flow diagram. See whether you have located it. Mediators, you'll have to mention the names of a few. Mug up the tabular column. What can you do if it comes as an essay question? Not difficult at all. So this is the way you should answer. Arachidonic acid metabolism. Definite flow diagram. Given in all the books, what are the different pathways? Lipoxygenase, cyclooxygenase. And what are all the mediators? What is the action? So is it all difficult for you? I don't think so. Just sit back quietly and you read. So inflammation again, the definition, and then the vascular changes. What are all the chemical mediators? What is arachidonic acid metabolism? What is acute? What is chronic? Granuloma types of changes. This is yet another one. Sometimes I have the habit of putting miscellaneous topics together. Ultimately, I should cover the university exam topics. See what I have done. In this, I have chosen these topics. Absolutely no relation to each other, but this is. So again, the references, these are all for exam. Without book, don't see this class. You are supposed to open the book and find out the location of the answer. Read it later. Pigments. It can come as a short essay. Usually a long essay is not there, but they can ask any of these things. 
melanin, hemocytin, very commonly asked. Bile can come as a thing. So these are the things that we people will have to. So the important pigments are there. So define a pigment, what can be exogenous, what is endogenous, produced by the body, etc. And in which you have got melanin, bilirubin, etc. In melanin, see whether there is something called as nevus. And there is a melanoma. Melanoma is malignant, nevus is benign, it is a birthmark. And see whether there is something called a dopa reaction. Tyrosin, tyrosinase. See whether these words are. If it is black in color, then it is okay. If it is white and still a melanoma, we call it a melanotic melanoma. Then what are the stains? See whether the stains are given. Mason's Fontana, whether it is given. So this is pigmentation. Sometimes there can be absence, which is called as vitiligo. When it is totally absent, we call it as albinism. See whether these are given. Is it all right? I hope you people are able to trace it. In my book also it will be given. I hope you people are able to find out this. It will be there in my book, the tips, as well as in Robbins and any other. Lipofusin is another one. Aging pigment. See whether it is given. Hemocidrin is extremely important because there is a condition called as hemocidrosis, hemochromatosis. We will see that under the other diseases, but then it is extremely important. Yes. Calcification. There is a pathological calcification and a physiological calcification. See whether you are able to find the answer. What are all the types that are given? Good. Dystrophic, metastatic. And what are all the causes? They would have given always any condition, there will be four or five causes. Please by heart the causes. And see what is over there. And how do you identify? It is chalky and it will be blue in color or basophilic. But what is important is there are two stages in the formation of this calcium, calcification. Say initiation and propagation. Are you able to see those words? Initiation, propagation, hydroxyapatite crystals. Good. And finally, I always like stains. One cosa halizarin. These are the stains for calcium. Write it completely, you should get 90% more. Dystrophic calcification, metastatic. Sometimes there is something called as tumoral calcinosis. It can occur in the subcutaneous region. It will mimic a tumor. And the surgeon will be removing it. It is tumoral calcinosis. Nothing but a pathological calcification. So these things you people will have to read. As I told you, hemotaxis and phagocytosis. Phagocytosis, it has been asked at least 700 times in the university exams. Chemotaxis, it has been asked at least 50 to 100 times. So what is the definition? And you find that there will be a contraction, there will be a movement. See whether you can find it. Definition, always. Unidirectional movement of a cell towards an attractant. And phagocytosis literally means cell eating, but see what your book has given. Phagocytosis. The students do not write this answer well. They simply write it as attachment, engulfment, digestion. That is not what I want. You will have to mention the receptors. See whether there are any specific receptors given. FC, C3B, etc. 
are they given good then the process fusion with the lysosome phago lysosome is it given find out so these things are important for us we shall be going through and more important will be there is a flow diagram again given where does the cell get all the energy from it is the myeloperoxidase halide system mpo halide system see whether it is fit that flow diagram will carry 80% marks without that the answer is a waste always subdivide what are all the phagocytic cells the process what are all the stages then what is the process or energy from ultimately names and conditions that phagocytosis is defective so mcqs powerful mcqs chadiac figashi syndrome chronic granulomatous disease of childhood diabetes etc so there will be a small column or accumulation somewhere in the book find out where hemotaxis is defective or phagocytosis is defective these things you people will have to know so phagocytosis without diagram no answer must be written in pathology diagram subheadings definition causes mechanism complications